Hey y'all, my name's Danielle. Some people call me D. My goal is to build a brand called Renee Christian. I'm an avid DIYer, extreme foodie, naturally, the and severe makeup junkie. Enjoy the video. I've been making black sleeve gel since like June 2014. And that is what I primarily use for my wash and goes. First, you're gonna need a pot. Good old pot, I use a big one. Um, second, you're gonna need some containers, some like large containers because you're going to um, be like separating, like putting the liquid, separating stuff in. Anyway, so I'm prepared, I got two if I need it. Next is a strainer. Um, I'm prepared as well in that I have a couple different types of strainers. This is a tea strainer, it has small laser cut holes in it because with my um the slippery elm bark and the marshmallow root sometimes uh, it has like you know the little small like fine it, it, like bark like dust kind of that can slip through maybe something like this and then i have a measuring cup a funnel um, to get it into my bottles and then lots of containers honey i will put some gel in anything let me tell you so i got an evian bottle <laughs> Because listen, this stuff is a pain to make. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Who wants to be making um, stuff in their house? Like, who wants to be making hair products in their kitchen? Nobody. But I just like the results that I get from it. So I don't like to make it. I really don't. It's a pain in my butt. So people be like, oh my gosh, can you make me some? I'm like, girl, I really don't feel like it. I'll just be honest. It's just a pain. Um, so when I make it, I like to make large quantities. I'll put them in whatever I have. This is like an old peanut container. Yes, honey. Um, I've got some Tupperware here. I'll put them in these and freeze it. I like to do my wash and go. I'll, you know, put my hair up or whatever for my nighttime routine. And then I'll wear it for another, you know, day. Um, I might spritz it, kind of refresh it. The next day it's going to be, you know, it's going to be real bigger. Um, I'll still rock it, whatever. Fourth day. That's the third day of the fourth day. It's going to go in a ponytail just like this. You see this? It's going to go in a ponytail. Yes, it will. Um, and I'll do the ponytail maybe for a couple days maybe. Or I'll just go back, wash and go again. If I'm not prepared and having something in the freezer to thaw out and having my gel, then it's like, ooh, what am I going to do with it? Um, my my go-to is to, you know, do a part or whatever um, and then do a flat twist. Just like flat twist on both sides and pin it back that so if you see me like that it's either I actually wanted to wear my hair like that because um, I wanted to like have my scalp kind of uh, out like to breathe or it's because I handle products or I didn't thought out in time see this product since you're making it it actually will go sour on you it will start to smell in like two weeks is probably the longest that I want to keep it in the fridge um, it'll start to smell. It's food, kind of. So, I mean, yeah, so this is about as much. So if I do a jar like this um, and I freeze this, I might unfreeze it. Um, unfreeze it. <laughs> I might thaw it out and then, you know, pour it in my, because this is what I'll actually use in the shower. Um, and it's about eight ounces, I think. I'll put it, pour it in this. Um, this is like one wash and go so I can get about two of these I can get about two of these out of like one of these so one wash and go two wash and go and I'm good um, so I'll pour you know half of this into containers use it I might refreeze the rest um, so it doesn't go bad before I can use it right because then that would just be a waste of time and energy and life It'd be pointless. So same with this. If I thaw it out, either I'm going to be real excessive and I'm going to be like, oh, wash and go every two days. Hi, my curls popping. Or <laughs> or I'm going to um, refreeze, refreeze what's left before it goes out. So as far as ingredients, I have flat seeds. What? These are like four or five dollars. I think five ninety nine maybe. I don't know. Marshmallow root, a few dollars. Wargum is kind of expensive and you go by the, like they go by the weight. It's a thickener. So it kind of I use it to thicken up the gel um, Citric acid. I kind of use it as a preservative um, 
avocado oil or um, coconut oil. I use those because they can kind of like penetrate. Um, so I'll pour a little bit of that in. Pure aloe vera gel. Let me tell you how excited I was when I went to the store and this was on sale for $5.99. Best believe I got four jars because this is normally, I think, $8.99 for, for this jar. I'll sometimes use this alone for like a quick wash and go and it might not be as like holding. Um, it doesn't have as strong of a hold as the flaxseed gel would, but still has holding properties and can kind of condition and make my curls like pop a little bit. And then I'll add essential oils. So, you know, I have, I'll add tea tree. Tea tree, I found it kind of helps like that maybe around the, the end of that two week period that, you know, the gel is starting to go bad. It, it's not gonna, it still smells okay. You know what I'm saying? Lavender and rosemary are oils that I use. Um, I noticed this was in a lot of the products like vitamin E, so I'll just put a little bit of that in. I was using just a fourth cup flaxseed. Two, one or two cups of water. And then I would add, um, I would add my essential oils and I would add my citric acid. And then I started adding marshmallow root um, to it. Um, and then I saw, I believe from the YouTuber, Alyssa Forever. She was doing a review on a company that makes boxes where they like give you all the ingredients and you make it yourself at home. But the one thing that they added that I hadn't been adding um, is guar gum to thicken it and I don't know why I didn't think that but so that's what I did adapt from that recipe um, so I like to stick with between a fourth a fourth cup of flax per one cup to two cups water and it kind of just depends on how thick you want it to be okay so that is gonna matter I have 10 cups of water in here I am going to add two cups of flaxseed okay um, so keep that in mind, a fourth, fourth cup of flax seeds to one or two cups of water, and that will depend on your the thickness that you want. I will reuse these flax seeds for another batch. Also, I have um, some water boiling. I am going to put my marshmallow root in there, and I just kind of take a big pinch. Keep an eye because this stuff will bubble over. Y'all see it getting all white and foamy? It will bubble over in a second and make a mess on your stove. But you can already kind of see it like thickening up. So the one thing I kind of watch with the flax is that I don't um, let it get too thick because then I'm going to have problems separating my seeds from my thickened gel. Okay, so I, I'm at like a medium kind of thickness here, so I am gonna strain it before it gets too hard for me to strain. And this is where I try not to get messy. Lord help me trying to do this on camera. Lord, Father help. So I kind of shake it through because it is a little thick. And sometimes I don't get all the liquid separated, but since I'm gonna boil them again, um, cause you, you can reuse them, I'll, I'll reuse them at least once. At this point, when I can't really separate it, I'll just go ahead and throw it back in, add some more water, and boil it again. This is one of the other strainers that I use. It depends. It, I use whichever ones, depending on how thick I let it get, and I'm going to get all the juice that I Now that I've boiled my water and my marshmallow root, I'm going to strain that through my tea strainer. Okay, so now I'm gonna pour my marshmallow root juice back in my container. My marshmallow root tea. 
and pour it back in my pot. I'm gonna put it back on the stove and this is where I'm going to add my guar gum. And this stuff is tricky. Like you gotta add it and you gotta, you got to whisk it um, or else it will clump up. And some of the clumps will go away as the gel kind of sits, as you let it set and it kind of comes together, but some will stay in there. So I'm gonna put a little bit in, I'm gonna whisk it in a little bit at a time. Trying to do this and record it. Good. That brown liquid is now thickened. Okay, so now I've added my marshmallow root juice to my strained flax seeds. And everything's kind of warm. I'm gonna mix it all together. I'm going to add a pinch, a little sprinkle. Maybe I guess it's ooh, ooh. <laughs> um, about like a teaspoon of the citric acid, and it's just gonna got, kind of dissolve in there. I'm also gonna add just a little pour of my vitamin E oil. I'm also going to add my avocado oil. Just a nice little squirt in there. I'm going to add some of my al aloe vera gel. Can we focus on, look at my face. <laughs> I don't know. It's like a good pour. My husband says whenever I'm focused in the kitchen, I make that face. And then my essential oils. So I think for this one, I'm just going to do the rosemary and lavender. Just a little couple shakes of each. Very fragrant. Look. There it is. I don't know what that is. I guess I'm just focused. See it? Ugh. Like goop. Anyways, so I kind of let it sit. Um, I'm going to actually make another batch of everything and then I'm going to bottle it. <laughs> 